I would like to have a much more direct, much more positive approach to this thing and say to the youngsters of this community especially, you are asking for more autonomy and more of a voice in your school affairs. Now you prove by your actions during this Texas OU weekend that you deserve it. And put it on the front pages of the newspapers of Texas and Oklahoma and of Brian Adams and Thomas Jefferson and Madison High School. Put it on the the uh, campus newspapers, the front pages of the Dallas News and the Dallas Times Herald, and put it right back up to the kids and say, you want this challenge, we're giving it to you, and now you show by your behavior during the Texas-Oklahoma weekend uh, that you deserve it. Every year, the city, city officials complain about the violence which surrounds the Texas OU weekend every single year, but nothing has been done about it. That's why I think we need to take a different more positive approach, exactly. And I think the, uh, the suggestion that has been made is the same old approach, which is if you don't behave yourselves, we're going to slap your wrists. Let's put the challenge back on the young people. That's what they've been asking us for. And then if they don't meet it, then they're going to have to realize that they're not ready and mature, for it, uh, mature enough for it. Mr. Wise, don't you think it's a little pointless to blame the Texas OU game for the violence when it's the local students in the Dallas-Fort Worth area? From what I understand, and I think that the parents of this area should face the facts, it is principally our own high school students. And it is these youngsters who must be challenged and whom we must turn to and say, uh, you prove your worth by your actions during this and other uh, actions in and around your campus and on the city streets of Dallas.